first things first, let's get into this ammo crate. Is it gonna be ammo? Paperwork? Three. Let's look down there. You see it? Savage Arms. Three, two, one. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys, and today we have an epic looking unit. This unit looks absolutely insane. You're not going to believe it when we open this door. I'm telling you right now, it's going to blow your mind. But we didn't buy this unit. This unit is actually bought by Locker Nuts yep. right over here. Yep, paid $375 on Monday a couple days ago, but then when I found that Jeeves team was coming to town, I knew this is right for you guys, and you're gonna see why. You're gonna see why right now. Don't forget to like the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new, and make sure you head over to Locker Nuts too, because it's gonna be epic, trust me. Let's get into it. So because we're inside, the lighting is a little bad in here. So what we're gonna do is take the stuff out of the unit, bring it outside so we have good outdoor lighting and you can see everything. So let's get on with it. All right guys, so we just finished cleaning out the unit. We got everything outside in the lighting so you can see what's going on. We divided this unit right down the middle. Half of the stuff's gonna be right here. You're gonna get ready to see. Half of it's gonna be over there. You're gonna have to go over to Locker Nuts channel and subscribe to see the rest of it. First thing we got here is an ammo looking box and a lock box, but you guys already know how I do things. You're gonna have to wait to the end to see that. Let's get going. So let's start going through it. Just go out of this chainsaw. I'll stop for a second. First thing we got, my favorite type of thing, plain black cardboard. This has very high street value, I'm telling you now. Expensive stuff. We got two posters here. First one is the GOAT, Michael Jordan. All you NBA fans out there, tell me who's the best really. Is it Jordan or LeBron? I've heard arguments for both sides. I'm still team Jordan. If you're team LeBron, Tell me why, I don't believe it. Here's LeBron. Get out of here. Next week, oh, what is that? Oh, that's that, that high school team that somehow got into the NFL, you see it? <laughs> Look at them, I don't know what they're doing here or how they got this far, but they're here. Ugh. Hold on, I might have to go take a break and wash my hands, I did just touch that. Ugh. Let's keep going over here. Next thing we got here is this toolbox, I think, or tool. It's so a folding workbench, but from the looks of it, it looks to be all together, but the box has seen better days, but we think all the metal pieces and wood pieces are in there, so not really sure how much value that something like that would have, but if you do know, make sure you let us know, but it looks like it'd be a complete tool bench right there. Now we have this big camo duffel bag. As you can see when we pan the unit, this was obviously a hunter, so no telling what you could find in here. There could be handguns, there could be ammo, there could be anything in there. If there's a gun in there, we're gonna freak out. Let's see what's in the duffel bag. What, what, is the zipper broken? I think the zipper might be broken. Let's see, we can get it open first without breaking it more. Technical difficulties, please stand by. <laughs> All right, got it open enough. What is that? Look at this. You know what this might be for? This might be a paintballer too. It looks like an old paintballing is mask. Masks? Is it? It is two masks. Look at you. You know it better than I do. But they look like they're two paintballing masks if I had to take a guess. I don't know why you would need this regular hunt hunting unless you're like fighting the deer, bare hand hunting. I don't know. I don't think you would need that in regular hunting. What else do we have in here? It's a body vest. It's definitely not bulletproof. Maybe paintball proof? Is it, they wear protective armor and paintball? I've so. never gone I mean, like I think legitimately paintball. And we've had friends that do it, but not legitimately on a course. So not too sure about this stuff. I have, it's pretty fun. If you haven't, go do it. <laughs> this might, you wear that like a vest, like a police vest type thing where you can hold your weapons. I'm not sure, maybe it's a tool vest. You guys know more than I do. Make sure you just let us know. Well, what are these? Are these like what go on the gun to hold the paint? Maybe, I don't know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> don't ask me, ask them. <laughs> what is it guys, let us know. And we got that this. looks like it. Yeah, that's what exactly what that looks like. It goes on top of the paintball I've gun. I've never seen this shape that way, <laughs> like a tube. It might be like, almost like an extended mags type thing for a paintball to where you can it open it up, pop this in Maybe here. Maybe they go in those little pockets. Maybe, lots of questions here. Up. Oh, we're just like finding pieces of the paintball gun. Where's the actual gun at? It's gotta be in there. Look at this, more 
This one's, oh, that's like CO2 or 20. I guess it's a CO2 tank right here, a huge CO2 tank, but I don't know, guys. We're fighting piece by piece. The whole thing's got to be there eventually. Oh, there's your balls, too. There's the paintballs right so there. It is. What? An extended mag type thing. Yep, that's exactly what they are. Then they're all holding extra paintballs to just mess people up. More armor pieces. Oh, what do we have in here? Is that a bag inside of a bag? That's a bag inside of a bag. What do you think's in it? You ready? Oh, you can already see it, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Some more paintballs. Another uh, CO2 tank. And I'm guessing that's another thing that goes on top of the gun to hold it. We found every accessory we could think of. Where's the gun at? Oh, guys, <gasps> guys, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You thinking what I'm thinking? That's nice. Paintball mm. fight. <laughs> I only like to point a paintball gun at people. Hmm. <laughs> Another CO2 tank right there. One of my viewers commented said the CO2s are 20 bucks a tank. 20 bucks. 20 wow. bucks yeah. a tank. That's if insane. anyone knows about that, they can comment. Cool. Wow. It looks like we have something that like transfers air. Like I said, I, I had a friend that had a paintball gun in fifth grade. That's my extensive knowledge of paintball guns. That's it. We shot it in the backyard a few times. I never went to a course. A couple more. And other than that, you got one, two. Oh, that one still has the paintballs in it right there. So that's definitely what they are. There's the confirmation we were looking for. And the rest of them, we have four more of the extra max things. So a whole paintball set here. That could be worth as much as the locker right there. We just don't know. All right, so now we're gonna move on to this tote. It looks to be like tennis equipment, but who knows? Is that a duck? It's a duck. We have a duck. YouTube, I'm saying duck. Don't demonetize me. Duck. We have the duck head, and it doesn't even have feet. Look at that. Because it's floating in the water. Get the real ducks to come in and take them out. It's kind of cool right there. I know I've seen on other shows, some of these can be as cheap as 15 bucks, and I've seen them go for over $100. So if anyone's a hunting guy out there, let us know. Is that a super expensive one or is it a cheap one? Because we just know it's a duck. That's about it. A red eye duck too, that's kind of scary. Let's put him aside. We have one, two, three, four separate tennis rackets here. Oh, no, we don't. We have three tennis rackets and a baseball bat. bat. <laughs> I didn't even see there was a baseball bat in there. I almost called it a baseball bat a tennis racket. Somebody was definitely a hardcore sportsman. Three tennis rackets and a baseball bat. And that's pretty cool, too. Let's set that aside really quick. Stay. I'm not the only one that tells objects to stay, right? They, ooh. You guys see this? I see this. You know what these are, right? Oh, yeah. Speaking of duck hunting, these are 20 gauge shotgun shells. A whole box full of them, too. Precision steel. Are these on um, bird's eye or what? I don't even see it on these. Steel. I only use federal ammo when I go out, so I don't know where they put it on this, but unfortunately, shotgun shells are not expensive. They're the cheapest type of ammo you can get. But a whole box here, a box of new ammo at Walmart or shotgun shells will still run you like 10 bucks or so. I don't know about out here in California, that might be a little more strict on it, so it could be more expensive here. Someone didn't like ducks. <laughs> Somebody did not like ducks. They might've liked to eat them, but they weren't fans of them. Another box of 20 gauge shotgun shells. This one's like a half box, so apparently they used a couple of them. They took out a few ducks out here. We also got, oh, that's full. These are 12 gauge, I think. Yeah, these are 12 gauge shotgun shells. Bird's eye too. You can see from the front, a whole, did you guys Way just see go. The, Did you just see that tennis racket? It just tried to take me out. Guess what, it didn't stay, it didn't listen. This is what I get for saying I don't like to play tennis. I thought you were a dog. But look, 12 gauge bird's eye shotgun shell. You got probably 15 shells in there, so. That's at least another like 10 bucks or so. We have another bag in here as well. This one feels more shells too. Same thing, 12 gauge bird's eye shotgun shells right there. I've never heard of this brand they are. Game load. I don't know if it's like range ammo or if it's serious hunting ammo. Since we have a hunter here, it might be more of the expensive type because the hunters buy the super high quality stuff. If you go to the range, you use cheap stuff. If you go hunting, you're buying high quality stuff. Guys, we didn't even realize we have a whole bag here full of ducks. Look at this. I know like some people, hunters take like a couple out there, but this man was serious. He had a whole lake of decoys. Like, I don't even know how you can tell. After like a few hours of seeing them, how do you even know which one's real and fake at that point? After like four hours of sitting on the water. Look at that. Are there names on them? They're 
flambeau or something. It's faded away. It's like scratched off really bad. But they're even in like different positions. Like this one looks like he's scratching his feathers and stuff. This one, they're even different kinds of ducks. Like I feel like there's different breeds of ducks. Look at this. He's sitting out there. I don't know if that blue is supposed to be there. If somebody got that on there by accident. I'll pull out one more and we'll just put him away. What? Is this a headless duck? Mm -hmm. Oh. His head's supposed to be in the water, I think, to make it look oh. like he's trying to get fish out. Cool. Look at that, three different ducks. This one says GHG No Head Feeder Drake. If that helps anyone, the company is Ducks Unlimited, official licensed product. So maybe it has value. Somebody out there's gotta know. Make sure you let us know. So the last two things we have left. What looks like an ammo crate in this mysterious locked box. Who knows what's in there? Ammo, weapons, maybe even money. We don't know until we get in there. First things first, let's get into this ammo crate. What do you guys think is gonna be in there? Is it gonna be ammo? Paperwork? Three, two, one. We got ammo. Tons of ammo too. Look at this. This whole bucket here is full of 12 gauge bird's eye shotgun shells. There's probably at least 25 in there. Like I said, I don't know the prices out here in California. I know the gun laws are different. The ammo is probably more scarce. It might be more expensive here. At home, a box of 12 gauge ammo is like $12. I don't know the difference out here. That's it. This is Remington too. Remington's going to be higher quality shells. These are also 12 gauge shotgun shells. So already we have two boxes of shotgun shells. Another box of shotgun shells right here. Same thing, Remington 12 gauge. And look at that. So nicely organized. This is a Cabela holder. Let's see what kind of ammo we have. More 12 gauge shotgun shells. Look at that. They're all bird's eye. I don't know why I'm getting the impression that I think this guy hunted ducks. Something about this unit telling me that. I don't know what it is, but something's telling me that. And we also have one other bag in here. It's just, again, full of 12 gauge shotgun shells. He had all kinds of shotgun shells. Is the actual shotgun gonna be in the box? We'll just have to find out later. The moment we've all been waiting for, guys. What's in the locked metal box? What do you think? Before I open it, I'm not opening it until you tell me what you think's in there. Make sure you put it down in the comments now. I'm gonna sit here until you're done. You done? All right, let's get into it. You ready? One side's open, two sides open. What's gonna be in there? Three, is it stuck? Oh, no, it's no, not. It opened. Two, one, what is it? Oh! Who would have ever guessed? <laughs> Shotgun shells. Let's see what we got though. These are 20 gauge, these aren't 12 though, so you got a couple, uh, one box of bird's eye, 20 gauge shotgun shells here. You might have the clay things here. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll get to that in a second, but another whole box of 12 gauge shotgun shells. They're all bird's eye too. I haven't seen any slugs, buckshots or nothing. Everyone's bird's eye. I guess this guy like exclusively hunted ducks. So another 12 gauge box, another water. It's even waterfowl load. It's like specifically designed to take out ducks There's and birds. Federal. That's federal, yeah. These are my buddies. This is the only ammo I trust ever. The only thing I put in any of my guns is federal. It's the only kind I trust. Unless I'm at the range and it's just whatever's cheapest. Any other time, only federal. Let's see what's in this box. You'll never guess. What do you think's in the box? Shotgun shells! <laughs> Who'd have ever guessed? A whole horde of uh, Winchester 12 gauge shotgun shells in here too. So, I mean, we gotta be sitting on like 500 rounds of shotgun shells. 12 gauge and 20 gauge. That is absolutely insane. So I know all you guys have been wondering what's in the rifle box. Look down there. You see it? Savage Arms rifle box. Is it a rifle? Is it a shotgun? We have no idea. And I know you're all dying to know. But unfortunately, you're not gonna know here. If you wanna know what's in the box, you're gonna have to head over to Locker Nuts channel to see what you find. All right guys, so while there were some awesome things over here, remember this was only half of the unit. If you wanna see the other half that has that rifle, maybe shotgun, maybe assault rifle, who knows, box, you're gonna have to head over to Locker Nuts channel to check it out. Yeah, we're gonna get started on that right now, and you guys go to the channel, Locker Nuts, says it right here, right? <laughs> right there. Yep, it does. <laughs> I think so. So you can hopefully find it, and uh, we'll see what we find there. It's good stuff. This was definitely an epic unit, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, for the duck, leave it a big fat <laughs> thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. And if you do want to follow us on our social media links, are going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, duck out.